and why are you out here now? It's a fresh air, first time out all day. Yeah. Um, it was really scary, but I always felt in good hands because there was always great communication coming from Central Command. So I'm really happy that the efforts were coordinated well and it was in custody. What did you do inside all day? I read a lot of the news, I cooked a lot, I cleaned the house, I couldn't sit still, I was so on edge, and I watched the street most of the day. We actually needed to walk the dog. Yep. And uh, this was a pretty good uh, direction to take. Yeah. So that's what brought us out, and what brought us in this direction is the thought that maybe they were delivering uh, the suspect here, but it looks like they're not. So you think they're bringing him somewhere else? I don't actually know, um, but folks out there are saying perhaps a federal facility in Devons. So one of the things I noticed today was that all the people in lockdown, they still had to go out and take their dogs for walks. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that earlier today. When yeah. I was yeah. It was very quiet out there, wasn't it? Extremely. I think I saw one person. Yeah. Thank you very kindly. You're welcome. Good night. So here we are across from Ann Arbor, and what are you thinking? It's just great they got the guy. Yeah. What? We've been walking around all day, kind of watching the police presence, and uh, everyone's confused, and now we have to I saw a tremendous police presence, but it seemed to be a lot for show, um, especially around Norfolk Street and everything like that. I know that they were down on Norfolk Street, there was a lot of bombs and whatever else that they recovered from it. Sure, I was really trying to get close to it, but it yeah. was all important off. Yeah. Great uh, kudos to all of our law enforcement team. Really, I stayed home. Yeah. <laughs> so I did not see as much. Um, although, well, Mass Ave was just empty, which is just an unusual sight. Right. So, uh, but um, no, but no, I was glued to the TV today and uh, very happy that, you know, they were able to capture the guy and uh, no additional casualties happened today. Yes. Great. Sam. Yeah. My neighbor. What are you up to? What are you doing under tonight? I don't know. We just came out here to see if we're uh, going to bring the guy here. And what did you find out? They didn't. They took him to MGH. How did you find that out? Uh, the uh, channel Fox 25 guys were talking about it. Oh, uh, okay. So for a while there was a crowd out here. It was kind of communal. It was a nice feeling. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. So what did, what, did you, what did you do all day? I uh, stayed inside and watched the news. Yeah? Yeah. What was that like? It's, uh, I don't know, it was kind of boring. I yeah. had the police scanner going too, that was better. But I started listening at like 5 o'clock in the morning until like noon, and they turned them off. And then after that happened, they turned the scanner back on, and then they had them in the boat. It was like a shootout. What brings you out here tonight? Well, we live a block from the hospital, and it's been a very tense week. And the news that they finally have got both the people who were responsible for what happened. I think it was a big, uh, a big relief to everybody. And we were trapped inside all day and wanted to come outside and be with people. What did you do inside all day? Mostly we watched the news. Yeah. And, uh, some other people distracted themselves with video games. Yeah. And did you watch the news? Sort of. But I think it a lot. You peeked at it a lot? I painted a lot. Okay. Did what how did what did you think about it, everything about the bombing and the manhunt? That's scary. Yeah. Well, it's just hate blood and loud noises. Yeah. And do you think that you're trying to represent what happened in the last week in your art? Do you think you're trying to forget about it in your heart? Well, I wasn't really thinking about it a lot. Except when I was watching it. Well, we've had a lot of friends who are running and friends volunteering at the finish line and friends working in the hospitals where the wounded were treated. So, yeah. even though everybody we know was uninjured, it was a pretty heavy week. Yeah. And, it, you know, the really culminated in this very tense day, yeah. not knowing what was going to happen or who else was going to get hurt. And so I hope that it's over, and if it is, I feel very relieved. Yeah, I do too.